I think we've now covered the basics of MuseScore, certainly all the things that we can do with this set of buttons here in the top bar, namely getting some stuff into our score and playing it back. Before we go any deeper into the software though, I thought I'd just talk about a couple of very powerful editing features that you can find here in MuseScore that will be very familiar to you from other software programs that you've used in the past. I'm talking of course here about cut, copy and paste, something you will have done thousands of times if you've ever worked with a word processor like Microsoft Word. Here in MuseScore we can use cut, copy and paste to quickly manipulate the things that we've got in our music and it can make editing or developing some ideas much easier than if we had to write everything out by hand. The way that cut, copy and paste works here is very similar to other programs. We just need to select some element of our score and then press cut or copy and that will put it into the computer's clipboard and then we can paste that information back into the score wherever we want. So let's have a quick go at that. First of all, let's do a cut. So imagine I didn't want this bar to be here. I want to actually move it a bar later. What I can do is press Command or Control X and what you'll see is that that bar of music disappears. Whatever was selected disappears, but it's not gone forever. It's kind of in the computer's memory or we call it on the computer's clipboard. And that means that we can click anywhere in the score and paste that back in. And the way we paste in MuseScore is the same as lots of other programs. It's gonna be Command or Control V. And that allows us to actually paste whatever's on the clipboard anywhere we want. So if we wanna take this and put it anywhere in the music, all we need to do is select a place for it to go and press Command V. And that will paste that little snippet that we cut out anywhere into the music. We also have a copy function which works in a similar way but that doesn't cut the music out of the score, it just copies it to the clipboard. So say I was to take this top line and press Command or Control C, that again has copied that information to the clipboard but it's still in our score, it's not been cut out. And then anywhere we want it in the music we can just choose a place and press paste and what that will do is take that information we copied from the top of the score and place it wherever we choose in our music. There is one more note manipulation technique that is just a little bit more specific to MuseScore and that is the repeat function. Because in music all of the time we want to have things that loop as a pattern. We might want to repeat a bass line, we want to, might want to repeat some kind of rhythmic idea. So there's a very powerful way of doing that. All we need to do is select a certain part of the music. It might be one bar, it might be a selection of bars and the way that I do that, that selection of multiple bars is just pressing shift and clicking on the final bar. So I click on the first bar and then press shift and click on the final bar and that gives me that multiple bar selection. And all that I need to do to repeat that in the music is press R. And you'll see that every time I press R, I get four more bars of this pattern, which is a very powerful thing. And something that we're gonna see over and over again whenever we wanna create larger and more complex pieces of music.